Today we'll talk about the creepypastas of the animal kingdom. The carnivorous plants. But don't imagine a giant plant doing a satanic ritual and then eating us. Do you know how carnivorous plants actually behave, TikTokers? We'll explain it right here. Most of the time, these plants get the nutrients they need from insects, and because of that, these are sometimes referred to as insectivorous plants. However, that isn't their only food from animal origin, since they can sometimes eat small frogs, worms, small rodents, reptiles, and any other living being of a small size. You might be wondering, so they don't obtain their energy through photosynthesis? Well, yes, they do obtain energy through photosynthesis, just like the other plants, but they've also developed special mechanisms to obtain more nutrients. They usually live in soil devoid of nutrients, making them survivalist hunters. The first time Tic and Tac heard about carnivorous plants, they imagined them sitting at a table enjoying some barbecue ribs, but no, that never happens. Carnivorous plants have the ability of attracting, catching, and digesting their prey. There are more than 600 different species of carnivorous plants, and depending on their kind, they use different ways to hunt. Although the smell, color, and nectar of their flowers play an important role, they can also have clamps which shut tight when something falls in them. Some also have sticky hairs which secrete a fluid similar to honey, which attracts insects. Once they land on those hairs, they get stuck and the plant closes its tentacles until gobbling them up. Some carnivorous plants also get their food using pitfall traps. For instance, some are vase-shaped and secrete a viscous fluid at the bottom, where animals can drown. Another capture system they use are mechanical traps, which are pretty common in aquatic environments. This mechanism is activated when touching it, and in just a few milliseconds, the plant catches and absorbs its prey. Lastly, they can also eat bugs using what's known as lobster pot traps. Some species even combine different kinds of traps. Don't you think it's so cool all the things these plants can do? Without a doubt, they are so special that they inspire both fascination and dread. In the latest years, many people have tried to buy these plants, but some species had to be hidden by biologists so they don't disappear. Other species are pretty common, but before invading their space just to have one at home, keep in mind that these are living beings that need a lot of light to survive, as well as proper temperature conditions. Therefore, tic tackers, it's better to let them live in their natural habitat, outdoors. Don't be like Mario, who many times ends up gobbled up by piranha plants. Without a doubt, their peculiar beauty and their ability to kill have inspired a lot of creative minds. The movies Jumanji and The Little Shop of Horrors are a clear example of how you can scare an entire generation with just a plant. And there is also nicer examples of carnivorous plants such as the chomper in the successful video game Plants vs. Zombies. What do you think, TikTokers? Do you like carnivorous plants? Or do you dread these beautiful and ingenious creatures? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode!